You might like to try this. Blow up a balloon, put a pipe in the neck, put it to your nose and try breathing in when you let the balloon go. It's very hard to do. Well, why on earth would you want to do such a thing? It's an odd hobby. Mainly because it illustrates a very interesting thing about the way your body protects itself. And you probably noticed if you ever put your head out of a car window and uh, had the air blowing into your nose, it's very hard to breathe in. Same sort of thing. Well, to understand why, you really need to look inside me to get uh, an inside view. And if you do, you'll find that uh, my chest is full of interesting things. In fact, these things on either side are big bags. They're lungs. They're big spongy bags, and they really do fill up with air. And the pump that makes them fill up, or one of them, is down here, that reddish line going across. It's a big muscle. It's a sheet of muscle. And as it pulls down, it makes the chest get bigger, air rushes in. As it goes up, the chest gets smaller, air rushes out. And it can only rush out of the lungs through the windpipe and the nose, or the mouth, if you breathe through your mouth. Well, I can show you that a bit better on a model. And here it is. Made out of a bottle, it uses balloons and things again, but in a different way. See, there's the diaphragm. It's a rubber sheet down there. The lung, I've only got one of them in here, is the balloon, and it's attached to the end of the windpipe, and up here is the nose. What happens when you breathe is this. Your diaphragm comes down, makes the chest bigger, air rushes in and blows up the balloon, or the lung. Up, down, up, down. And as you breathe in and out, those bags, your lungs, are filling up and emptying uh, with air. The thing is, your brain is controlling that, and the brain knows how full they ought to be. If the diaphragm's down there, the brain knows the lungs ought to be full. And if the diaphragm's up there, the brain knows they ought to be empty. When you go puffing into your nose with uh, a car or a balloon, what happens is this. You blow up the lungs a bit more than they ought to be. It doesn't really hurt them if you don't do much. But the brain says, hey, they shouldn't be as high as that. I'm going to resist that. I'll stop breathing in. So it turns off your breathing mechanism. And that's for breathing in. Of course, the same thing happens if you uh, start pulling air out. And if you've ever put on a face mask and forgotten to open your mouth, you may have noticed this happens. You breathe in through your nose, it sucks the face mask onto your face, and then the face mask sucks back. And of course, when it sucks back, it pulls air out of your nose, deflates the lungs, the brain says, hey, they shouldn't be deflated, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. So you get this sort of thing going on. Tell you. Remember to open up your mouth and stop making disgusting noises. So it's all really to do with the way your body protects itself against having air pushed in or pulled out more than it says it should be.